What good is a new workshop if you don't even have a surface to put stuff on and get some work done? Today on SamCraft, I'm bringing you guys along as I build two different style work tables. One is a island style, beefy setup for general surface itis. And the other is shorter, kind of lower to the ground, and specifically designed to be homes for laser engravers and cutters. Hey guys, Sam here and welcome back to SamCraft. That's right, I've got a tale of two tables for you guys today. These are designs that I did myself. Simple, basic, I used off the shelf lumber. We've got construction plywood, two by six framing members, two by four framing members, wood glue and screws. And to make this pretty, we have some paint and stain to give it a huh. Maybe that wasn't just built off the shelf from the hardware store look. And otherwise, take this stuff to the next level. If you would like to make any of these tables yourself, there is a link down below to the plan set I offer for you. You can have the material list, the cuts, the assemblies, the Google SketchUp files if you use that, and everything of the sort, which is what you should need to make these exact same tables in your workshop. That being said, if you're not the one to get plans, you can still watch the video and you'll be able to see how I build these tables. There is nothing magical going on. This is standard construction, a lot of butt joints, a lot of glue, screws, and otherwise just stacking materials together to build some pretty basic, sturdy, and what I consider to be attractive work tables for a shop. The first work table I'm building is the one that will be in the dead center of my workshop. It is made out of two by sixes for the legs and the actual framing of the tabletop, and then has a complete full four foot by eight foot sheet of three quarter inch plywood that'll make up the top. Following my plans, I cut all of the two by sixes to the lengths they need to be to make up the leg assembly the tabletop, the brace boards, and everything. Once all of these were cut, I then began to assemble the leg assemblies, which was basic with wood glue and wood screws.
With the leg assemblies built, I then begin to attach them, or rather build the table frame around them. Again, basic two by sixes, cut to length, a little bit of glue, a lot of bit of screws, and just put it together. I wanted to make sure I had enough bracing and cross members underneath the tabletop so that this table didn't sag, didn't feel bouncy, and I would be able to attach the plywood top to this base and give a pretty strong table overall. This being an eight foot long table means that it does have quite a long span and I didn't want to have any problems with sagging or bounciness over time. So that's why I used the two by sixes as much as I did and laid them out like I did. To give this table a nice looking appearance and not just scream, hey, I made this from off the shelf lumber, I decided to pick up some stain and paint to give it a nice contrasting color. I do change my mind about the gray a little bit later, especially once I do my other laser tables. I went with a different color scheme and just decided that looked best, so I come back and change my mind on this one in a little bit. Once the frame was done, we could bring the sheet of plywood over for the top, lay it in place, use a ratchet strap to pull the corners, make everything nice and square, and then lock it down by securing the plywood to the table frame with screws. With the first work table built, I now can move on to making my laser tables. I'm going to build two of these that are identical. They are each eight feet long, but only three feet wide or deep, however you want to talk about measurements. These laser tables are a little bit shorter in height because machines will sit on top of them. Most of them have their riser base as well, and I wanted to make sure they were not too tall to be able to be easily accessed, load, unload material, and just have them more comfortable. If I've not mentioned it yet, it is very easy to adjust the height of these tables to whatever you want. You just want to adjust your leg length. The laser tables are super easy to adjust the height. The main work table is as well, but it takes just a little bit more since there are more leg framing members with different lengths. The laser tables have the same kind of construction method, although not as much bracing in place, and they're made out of two by four members for the legs. Since they're going to be stationary machines on top of them, and they will be under less stresses overall than the main work table should be.
with the two tables built, we can move on to sprucing these up. And I decided to get some white paint for the legs and then black paint for the apron or framing members and the tabletop. This is also when I decided that I did not like the gray stain on the main work table. So I painted this legs white and its apron or framing member for the table black. I gotta say, for two tables made out of construction lumber, a little bit of paint, they look really good. I really like the white legs. It helps it have a clean appearance. It kind of blends in, but then the black top and the black band gives it a nice, I don't know, a pretty sharp look, and it looks really, really cool. At this point, I now have three tables built. It is time to move into this shop, time to bring my machines in, my stuff, and get rocking and rolling on using the new space. Remember, there are links to plans for these tables down below if you wanna check them out, wanna build one for yourself, whether you have just a generic workshop, you have machinery that you wanna sit on top of things, it's down there for you. Otherwise, thanks for watching as always. Take care, and I'll see you guys next time in the workshop.